Welcome back to Dashtune Studio. So far, we've covered the text-to-image and in-paint generation methods. The text-to-image method can be used to create images from your prompts, while the in-paint method can be used to fix specific parts of your images. In this tutorial, we'll go over the storyboard to comic generation method. This is particularly useful when you have a rough storyboard or image and want to generate something with a similar composition. You'll need some input for the storyboard to comic method. It can be an image, a rough sketch, or even something you draw using the brush tool on a blank frame to use as a storyboard. Here, we're using a storyboard image. Click on the Generation Method dropdown in the right panel to change it to Storyboard to Comic. We'll select the character and describe what we want to create in this panel in the prompt box. The influence percentage determines how much the input image will guide the image generation process. A low value can be used when the storyboard is just indicative, and a high value can be used when we want the final image to closely follow the contours of the input image. Here, the storyboard we're using is rough, and we just want it to guide the image generation process to get a compositionally similar result. We'll set the influence percentage to 23% and click the Generate button. While the character is generating, let's create a suitable background. In a new frame, use the text to image function, type interior of a luxurious wedding venue in the prompt box and click generate. Once the character images are generated, select the one that best fits and click accept to apply it to the frame. Do the same for the background image once it's generated, then adjust the positioning and scale to fit your scene's layout. Now return to your character frame and separate the character from the background using the Remove Background tool, ensuring the character is isolated for further editing. In your background frame, double-click to select the image and adjust the blur strength in the image properties on the right to enhance depth. Drag and drop your character from its frame into the background frame. Adjust the placement to make the character appear integrated into the scene. For any minor fixes, such as inconsistent skin tones, Use the brush tool to correct the color, mask the character, then input appropriate prompts like surprised expression, open mouth, to regenerate and refine the character's facial expression. Select the best image and apply it. Finally, replace the old character frame with the newly created image. Using the storyboard to comic method is very useful when you want to create images with a specific composition. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more content. Catch you in our next tutorial.